Hi everybody, it's Trish. I'm out here today at Madison Green on this blustery day, so if the microphone doesn't come in very clearly, I apologize in advance. But I want to talk with you today about a continuation of what we talked about not too long ago, and that's that short little chip shot. If you remember, I talked to you about Ben Hogan and how he would have his bushel basket of range balls that he would practice into and chip into. Well, I want to bring it into a practical sense here. So I'm at the practice putting area of Madison Green, little chipping area here. And I want to talk to you about the imagery that we had with that bushel basket and how that can translate to the golf course. So if you can see, the flag is right there, it's blue. It's probably about, I don't know, 25 yards from here. And I wanna make a little shot, and it's not so much I wanna think about where the ball is gonna land, I wanna think about the overall distance, okay? Here's a question for you. Do you want the ball to go to the hole, or do you want the ball to go at the hole? What's the difference? Well, let's use it in practical English. I don't go at a store, I go to the store. And once I reach my destination, which is the store, I am at the store. So I want the golf ball to go to the hole. So once I execute my shot, the ball will be at the hole. Does that kind of sort of make sense? So think about it like this. We had that bushel basket that we were practicing with not too long ago, but now I want to think about the practicality. I want to think about making the ball go to the hole. My brain will subconsciously tell me how big or little to make the swing without me having to think about it. So let's give it a shot. All I'm thinking about at this point is having the ball go to the hole. And there it is, it's only about a foot away. So if I think about where I wanna land the ball, I lose sight of the overall goal. And the overall goal is for the ball to go to the hole. So again, let's just think about to the overall goal, which is to the hole. Almost exactly the same place. Does that kind of make sense? So hopefully this will give you a better understanding of how we can practice chipping into the bushel basket or through the hula hoop, but we take it to the golf course for practical purposes. So until next week, don't forget, like and subscribe to this channel for more great tips and tricks to help you improve your game. And most importantly, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and keep it in the short grass.